Visit TicketCompare.com. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. So I'm here at StubHub and they've invited some of my loyal supporters down who have been to many of my fights and we've raised some money and that money is going towards Steel Warriors, an anti-knife crime, you know, charity that helps support the issues going on in London. And yeah, we're gonna have a good chat, take some pictures, sign some memorabilia, and um, hopefully it'll be a positive, a very, very positive thing. We decided to work with a charity called Steel Warriors and uh, they focus on knife crime and so on. And it's quite a, um, you know, a serious subject in London right now. So yeah, we'll have a lot to talk about in the question and, question and answer show. I think I've spoken about it enough, really. And I think everyone is very clear on what the situation is. I'm ready to fight, I'm keen to fight. And um, yeah, it shows we've made offers, multiple offers, and um, they're not happy. So the market is in the UK. It makes more sense. The, the supporters here are phenomenal. So you have to go where it makes sense. And um, yeah, he, I think he's keen to get over here as well. But if it was bigger in the US, we'll go there as well. Minus the attention, uh, boxing needs a fight. That's number one. Then you look at Wilder, you know, 40 fights. Fans, broadcasters are fed up. So he has to kind of make a move to fight XX and X. Myself, I have been fighting XX and X. So Wilder's a lively opponent. Another one I can add to my record. And um, yeah. I'll fight Wilder, it has to happen. So if I don't fight him next or the next one or the next one, I'll fight him the next one. So while we're still young and active, that fight will happen sometime. Just say thank you for their ongoing support. And um, all of the uh, mandatories are top 10 challengers and deserve a shot at the title. So, you know, my career isn't based around Wilder. That's what's clear about it, you know? So my message to the governing bodies is thank you for the ongoing support. So it's just about agreeing the fight, isn't it, really? Um, I don't know what more we can do. Maybe I shouldn't have worked so hard to put myself in this position. Um, but I didn't work this hard to give everything away either. So, yeah, it's a bit of a catch-22 situation. I'm not, I don't have a vested interest in like matchroom sports as a whole. I don't have a vested interest in Tyson Fury's career. Do you know what I mean? So whatever like Matram do, like they've signed Dylan before, I don't tell them don't sign this person or to sign that person. And um, if Dylan went with Frank Warren or Tyson went with Frank Warren or not, I don't mind. Um, it's all down to the individual's decision. Do you know where I'm coming from? So I've never minded about the decisions that people take for their own, for their own benefits. It's up to him. I can't tell him how to consider himself or not. Do you know where I'm coming from? So if, that, if that's what makes him feel good, um, so be it, you know. I don't know what else I can say on the situation. It doesn't affect me that he calls himself uh, the number one or so on and so forth. It does, doesn't have no relevance to me at all. Because with or without Fury, my career will go on. With or without Wilder, my career will go on. With or without Povetkin, my career will go on. Or with or without the WBA belt, my career will go on. Do you know where I'm coming from? So I've got kind of like, um, a strong spirit, the fire in the belly, just to keep on going, keep on making something out of nothing. So, um, with or without Fury, it doesn't doesn't make. And I'll always give it to you, bro. I think Miller's a bit more serious because it seems he hasn't got as much to lose. He's got more to gain, so he'll kind of um, jump at the opportunity. Um, you know, if uh, if Wilder was that serious as he says he is, he would jump at the opportunity. I'll keep on doing this for another 10 years and then I'm done.